This is the Game Changers Experience. Deep dive conversations with leading business disruptors, Olympic athletes, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and influencers from around the world. This show will teach you insights about the winning principles in mindset, productivity, marketing, branding, entrepreneurship, business strategy, and more. Hosted by Productivity Authority, business strategist, former elite athlete, author, and public speaker, Adam Strong. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Game Changers Experience with myself, Adam Strong. And today, interestingly enough, and I was just speaking to our guest today about an interesting subject that we could be talking about, which is all about morning routines. And I'm with uh, Ryan Cote, who is the podcast host and founder of a podcast called Morning Upgrade. And his business is all based around dedicating to raising the importance of morning routines and habits, and also personal development, which we all love, by the way, that's why you guys are probably listening in. He's the co-owner of a family-run business, which is a marketing agency. He also owns a roofing company. He's a property real estate investor as well. And he lives in the beautiful city of New Jersey uh, in the United States. So, um, Ryan, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Good stuff. Listen, um, you know, I was was just telling um, Ryan guys about, um, for you guys that are listening in, right, and I know that some of our um, our mastermind members, our inner circle members, we were talking about this this week about the importance of like, they, they were like, hey, so I always ask about uh, putting people in the hot seat. And the, the question was, is like, what is your challenges this month? And they were like, hey, so I'm kind of like really stuck on these morning routines. I feel like I procrastinate too much and stuff like that. And this is what we're going to talk about today. Um, we're going to be talking about with Ryan about morning routines. We're going to talk about habits. We're going to be talking about how to create behavior change. We're going to be talking about personal development. We're going to be talking about self-discipline. Uh, and we're also going to be talking about how to deal with overwhelm because like me and same for Ryan, he runs multiple businesses and has got a large family. So we'll be talking about that as well. So, um, so yeah, cool, Ryan. So again, thanks very much for being on the show and uh, really appreciate your time today. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool, man. So listen, um, I want to I want to jump straight in here because like your business is all around morning up, you know, morning routines and that kind of stuff. But I I guess I'd like to kind of set a foundation first. And I really want to know more about like you've obviously seen this as something that has impacted your life, probably for the positive, right? of having these morning routines, you've created a podcast, you've created a business out of it. What is the story around that? What, what was your big discovery and breakthrough around kind of morning upgrade and, and things like that? Yeah, good question. Um, I've always been into personal development, even like going back to my twenties, I'm 43 now, my twenties reading, you know, how to, how to win friends, influence people, think and grow rich, all the <laughs> classics. I've always been a compound effect always been just pulled in that direction. I'm not sure why. I mean, I, I really buy into the concept of like 1% better every day. And I, you know, and you know, the best investment you can make is in yourself. I fully believe that because you know, if you, if you work on your personal development, you can have everything taken away from you, but, but you know, your personal development, the growth that you, that you create for yourself, that can't be taken away. And so I, you know, I really, uh, I really believe in that. And so but to answer your question, really where the morning routines became a thing for me is in 2017 in, in my marketing agency, Ballantyne Family Business, the roofing company is new, but Ballantyne goes back to the mid-60s. Uh, I'm third generation. Wow. And 2017, so my, my role, uh, this context might, might be helpful to your audience, but I started out as the marketing director of the company. When we just did printing, and then when we did the, when we started the digital division, that's kind of that's what I spearheaded with my one brother, and so, you know, went from just a team of one me to then having a whole team that would come to the office, and I had to manage, and that was all new for me. Um, but but so 2017, we just we were in such a rut, you know, losing big clients, feeling very very mediocre, you know, very very mediocre, very flustered, and. I was like, obviously something's ro- broken in the business, but there's probably something broken with me. It's broken with me too. And so um, 
you know, I realized I had to make some changes. And so I happened to find uh, a podcast with Hal Elrod, the Miracle Morning guy, who's like the, the, the OG of morning routines, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, you know what? Let's try this because it makes sense. Like I never thought about waking up early and being deliberate and intentional with my mornings, but I, I can I, logically, I can understand how that would make sense. And so I did that. I joined a boxing club. I made some changes in my diet. Uh, and just tried to really just go all in on making these changes. And so the morning routine from there, it just blossomed that I can go into the changes I've made over the years. And, and, uh, cause I've, I'm, you yeah, know, I still do my morning routine every day, but that's, that's really the cat. That was really the catalyst of that moment in 2017. And how did that, um, how did that compound into other things in your life, whether it be, I don't know, improvements to your relationship in like with your wife or, like your business, how did that compound into, into that? Well, I think, you know, I think the importance of, with morning routines is it changes the way you think about yourself. It changes your identity. At least that's been my, my experience. I'll just answer it based on my experience. It changes the way you think about yourself because all of a sudden, like I'm the guy that wakes up early and invests in himself, you know, by doing, we could talk about what my morning routine looks like, but uh, I am the guy that wakes up early and invests in himself. So if I'm that guy, I'm probably also the guy who, you know, exercises exercises every day, eats well, and it just started to change my identity, and I started feeling differently about myself and showing up differently. And that's uh, and that you know, if you think, think about that, that just there's no way for that not to positively affect other areas of your life if you give it if you allow enough time to pass by. Very interesting. No, I love that. It's uh, it's, it's a good context. Um, yeah, I, you know, what what have you found that really works for you in terms of like, I mean, you can obviously talk through with us what your morning routine, average routine looks like, but what have you found, uh, are there any particular morning habits that, you know, that were like, you know, this is giving me a massive breakthrough. Were there any big, massive, like, ha morning habits that you just thought, well, do you know what, this is definitely staying, right? Regardless of, of, of where I'm at in life or what I'm doing, if it be on vacation or whatever it might be, were there any big habits that you just mastered and just continue to compound over a time? Yeah, well, to answer that question, so I used to do the Miracle Morning routine. It was about an hour and a half. And, uh, I know he's changed a lot of lives, so obviously there's something to what he does. I, I just found it was too long for me, and maybe I was taking too long to do it, but mm -hmm. I was like, I need to, I, I, I like, you know, I used to like to tinker with things, you know, like with business too, and so I kept on tinkering with the morning routine. Okay, it's an hour and a half, too, too long, especially with three young kids. What can I do? And I eventually, if we fast forward to today, my routine's like anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, so I've got it down to like a really set core of habits that I find very helpful. And now I have no excuse. You know, I have 20 or 30 minutes in the morning, right? And so now I have no excuse to miss. And so, um, and I very, 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 very rarely miss. And so my morning routine now, just to answer your question, because I, I boil it down to what I think is very helpful. So for me, it's um, setting your priority for the day, like your one thing, right. and that's work related, usually. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, gratitude practice that's if you had to ask me one thing that's probably it the gratitude practice and i could talk about how i do it with my kids too so what am i grateful for what was my biggest win from yesterday so just rewiring the brain to like like uh like lord of the rings the eye of what's the eye of <laughs> well, Alternate, i can't remember I have mora isn't it i have mora yes. or something like that <laughs> yeah you want your mind to like focus on the positive and so <laughs> celebrating the wins and then uh who am i going to reach out to today Friend, family member, team member, nice client. Who am I gonna recognize? I got a little. I, I journal for a little bit. Journal on my what's on my mind, uh, my affirmations, all that. And then I meditate and I exercise. Um, and so, all of that, like, those are all super important to me. If I had to pick one, though, definitely the gratitude practice. I think if if anyone, everyone listening, watching, you know that exercise alone, and it's nothing new. We've all all heard that, but give it a try. You know, every day, what are you grateful for? I do it with my kids too at night before they go to bed. I have them say, what are you grateful for? And it's, you know, they, they seem to like it. That's cool, man. I like that. So it's, 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 it's an interesting context. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about this personal gap. I don't, I don't, I've never heard of that concept. What do you mean by personal gap? Well, you know, 
What is it? Why is it important? Tell us some more about that. What is it? Yeah. Yeah. So this isn't my concept. I, I learned it from like Ed Milet and Brian Johnson. Brian Johnson runs this program called Optimize. It's a, it's a program that I'm in right now where you just you learn new concepts and I figured it would be like the perfect way to amplify what I'm doing with morning upgrade. So I heard it from them and it just really resonates with me. That's why I like when I talk to, when I do these podcast interviews, I like talking about it because yeah, I think everyone needs to be aware of it. And so it's like a mindset shift the way you look at things. Um, so, so personal growth gap, you know, everyone watching, everyone listening to this, they have, they likely have a growth mindset. And so they are, um, they're who they are now. Okay. And then there's the person that they're striving to become. And Got so it. think of it like version 1.0 is like where we are right now. Version 2.0 is where we want to be like the ideal version of ourself, who we think we can be, who we, who we aspire to be, what we do, how we act, what we have, et cetera, et cetera, how much we impact. Um, and so in between is that gap. And what I find is that if that gap is really big or feels very big, I, I don't like it. I feel uncomfortable. It puts me in a funk. Um, and so my job every day is to try to close that gap. And how do I do that? Well, you know, it's the content I consume, exercise, morning routine, of course, all these personal development strategies, masterminds. And I, you know, that I use these strategies every day to try to close that gap and try to get as close to as possible to that version 2.0 of myself. Well, I like that kind of like self-improvement, you know, it's kind of like taking say a computer and then kind of like thinking how I going to upgrade the computer or the ho- the hardware essentially and the software, right? Exactly. Yeah. It's a good way, good way of looking at it for sure. Very cool. Like it. Very good. So talk to me a little bit about um, from your perspective, how important is self-discipline um, in terms of like morning routines? Have you got any tips for our listeners around self-discipline? How did you master the habit of self-discipline? I mean, for me, the, like morning routines is my pillar habit. I would, I would consider myself uh, have mastered it. I mean, I have morning upgrade and I, I do my, my morning routine every, uh, every day. I've mm-hmm. been doing it for years. And so mm-hmm. it's my pillar habit. For me, it was really just removing the friction. That's why I have it down to like 20 to 30 minutes. For me personally, whenever there's any friction in a habit, I just have a hard time sticking with it. I think most people are like that. And so that's why I boiled it down to 20, 30 minutes. So even when I'm on vacation, I have that time. And maybe I'll do like a real short and condensed version. It's like that book, Atomic Habits. He talks about how, you know, if you have a, if you have a habit going, um, you don't want to break that streak because right. it's hard to get going again. But so he recommends, uh, I think his name is James Clear. Yeah, I think his name is James Clear. He recommends if you know you can't do the habit that day, do a very small, light version of it. Just keep the momentum going. And so for me, it's just removing the friction, Adam. Uh, that's, I look for, I look for ways to remove friction in all the habits that I have exercise, the morning routine, you know, things like that. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Now I know that some of the listeners that are going to be thinking about this question and it's definitely something that I have to bring up, but listen, sure. we all talk, we always talk about the importance of morning routines, how it can compound into more, uh, you know, personal growth, business growth, et cetera, et cetera, right? We've heard of that. But one of the big things that comes to my mind is dealing with with procrastination, right? So it's kind of like, you you know, whether it be feelings of guilt, whether it be feelings of, um, uh, you know, I'm I'm not worthy or whatever it is, whatever the feeling of, of what I suppose, what's the word I'm looking for? I suppose kind of, uh, fuels procrastination have you ever have you from your perspective from a morning routine perspective how do you overcome procrastination in order to get into this kind of um i'm going to call it regular routine uh, of of upgrading your morning i think i i think you know a big part of this is really having your, your, the why behind what you're doing. And it, it needs to be a priority, you know, like, cause if it's not, if your personal growth and development is not a priority for whatever reason, you're probably not going to take it seriously. And you're not going to, you're not going to, you know, stick with the morning routine. So I think it really comes down to deciding, okay, today's a day that I go pro to use that quote, uh, go, going pro, go pro. Um, <laughs> the book, you know, today's the day I'm going to go pro. And what does that look like? Well, it means I'm going to do my darn morning routine. And I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep on doing it, you know? And so, 
you know, that's, and I think, and then I think it, there's moments in life, like when I talked about in 2017, where I felt like the sky was falling on top of me and I felt very mediocre. I was like, that was the slit, that was the switch where I'm like, enough is enough. We're going to make a change here. And so I think it's looking for opportunities to fuel you and then making it a priority. And you know what? Sometimes, at least I don't know, I don't know if you're the same, but sometimes I have to, you know, not, I hate the phrase fake it to make it, but sometimes I might not feel like doing the morning routine, but I take action and then I feel like it and I'm in a good mood. It's like going to the gym. You don't want to go. You're not going to feel like it. But once you go, you, you know, the action creates the feeling. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, make it a priority, decide to go pro and then, and just take action. So what, you, what you're basically saying is to, and, and they're saying that you, you thought I'm going to pick up from what you just said there is to, I wouldn't say memorize, but to go back to a, a time where you felt good about yourself. So if you're not fit, if you're not in the mood for say your morning routine, whatever that looks like to you guys, um, what you're saying is to go back to a memory or an experience where you did feel good about yourself. And then, and then, then based on that, then you're going to more than likely to take action. Is that what you're saying? The, um, it's not, but actually I like that too. I, I think that's a very good point. Uh, there's a lot of uh, podcast hosts that talk about that, you know, and authors where you have to have like your highlight reel. I think David Goggins talks about it. You have to have your highlight reel in your mind. Um, what I was saying was that sometimes just the action alone will put you in the mood to do it. And so like if you wake up and you, and you, and you say you're going to, you're going to commit to doing a morning routine, the alarm clock goes off. Even if you don't feel like it, just know that the action will likely create the feeling. And so just get up and just do it. And you do that enough and then it becomes a habit. And now for me, like the morning routine is, is, is pretty much effortless. You know, like I look forward to it. It's my time alone. Um, it's getting warm here in New Jersey soon. So <laughs> I can do it outside if I want, which is kind of nice. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> have you ever looked at it from, um, I was going to say a kind of, um, if I don't do something, what are the consequences? And if I do something, what, you know, so it's kind of looking at from a, a kind of a, a polar opposite, right? What are the consequences if I do something or what are the consequences if I don't do something? Have you ever kind of looked at it from that perspective as well? Um, yeah, I mean, I, well, I think, yeah, because I think about, I have, I have the contrast because I used to be the person that would wake up at the very last minute or hit snooze and it's not the way to start the morning, you know, and I've done it in the past. And so if you think about it logically, you know, compare the two, compare the two scenarios. Scenario number one, is you're waking up at the very last minute, snoozing a few times, clearly telling your mind that you do not want to do this the, the day, you know, versus number two, um, you know, waking up 30 minutes early or whatever and investing in yourself, morning routines, exercise, gratitude practice. If you think about it logically, number two is going to pay off in dividends versus number one. Mm. Um, interestingly enough, the same that sort of cropped to my cropped to my mind as you were speaking, and my philosophy is that like, if you want to create a habit, now the average habit takes around what, 28 days, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and you know, there are some people here, they call themselves night owls. I don't believe in the whole kind of night owl or early riser type of thing. And it's like, and they know that they would need to have some sort of morning routine. Do you believe in a right. night owl kind of morning routine thing? Um, I'd love to know what your opinion is on, on this because you know, my, my belief is, is that, well, if you start early, right, you know, your, your brain is fired up for more creativity, more, um, more, uh, you're more geared and that kind of stuff. It's kind of like, it's kind of more succinct to your body clock. Does that make sense? Um, what's your, what's your opinion on this? I think, you know, and, um, this is something that, you know, I learned from Brian Johnson, but he talks about your AM, your morning routine really starts in the PM. Mm. Okay, so your AM, your morning routine starts in the PM. And the reason is that, you know, if you go to bed super late or eating a bunch of junk food before you go to bed, it's going right. to be very, very hard to get up in the morning and really kill it, you know? And so, um, yeah, I mean, I think, I think, I th I, maybe some people are night owls, I think, but you, I think you could train yourself to become a morning, morning person. It just takes going to bed at a certain time, getting sleep, and then, and then solidifying the habit for the morning routine, you know? Mm. Yeah, it, it's a good point. Um, what have you uh, found from your perspective, um, and maybe from experience, 
even maybe you've spoken about this on your own podcast, which is the importance of um, uh, behavior change. Now, obviously, I, I've studied behavior change, but it's always good to get another perspective from somebody. But what have you found from your perspective? Um, if you want, my philosophy is, is that if you want to create a new habit, you have to change your behavior accordingly. Does that make sense? You have to adapt your behavior, according, which will help you achieve the, the habit and whatever it might be. Do you have any, um, do you have any tips or recommendations for people that need to change their behaviors in order to create new habits? What have you discovered in your breakthrough? Yeah, I mean, I would, I'm going to answer this with something I actually just recently did. And so I agree with what you just said. Um, and then to add to that, I'm, I'm trying to create the habit of making myself uncomfortable. Okay. And that, that behavior, you know, th that changes my behavior. And so I'll give you, a, I'll give you a, a live example. Um, I've, I've been sort of in a funk the last couple of weeks, feeling very just not excited by a lot, you know? And so, and I, you know, I, this sometimes happens, you know, like it's just life, you know, and, and I was like, I need to mix things up. I need to push myself out of my comfort zone with something completely new. And I believe that that behavior is going to change me. And so what I did was, what day is it today? We're recording this on Tuesday. Yeah, yesterday, I actually signed up for a Krav Maga. Uh, do you know what Krav Maga is? Yep, I've heard of Krav Maga. Okay. So I was like, you know what? That kind of scares me. Like, I, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Going to the to the training and learning those things, it seems very uncomfortable for me. Um, it's another commitment now I'm going to make to myself. And so I went yesterday, took the free trial class. The guy's like, do you want to sign up? And I was like, yes, I do. So I committed to six months and uh, that's going to push me out of my comfort zone. And uh, and so sometimes like, to, so to answer your question, I sometimes look for weight opportunities like I just described to push myself out of my comfort zone because usually that's where I see the most growth. I like that. That's, you know, uh, I, I, I'm a big believer that, you know, if you want to, if you want to grow, you have to really challenge yourself, like physically, mentally, spiritually, mostly and spiritually. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but, you know, <laughs> but it, it, it's like, you, you know, do you want to be kind of like, just encouraged or do you want to like push your, or do you want to be pushed out of the airplane, you know, and I, I'm a big believer of that's how people make a lot of um sprints and leaps and bounds rather than just kind of like pigeon steps do you know what i'm saying yeah i i, I think back to moments where when i go through something really hard um challenging usually on the other end i'm, I'm a better person you know i've I, i've learned something like i think about like the, you mentioned that my wife and i own real estate i mean i thought i could tell you so many stories about things like with like the ceilings collapsing after a tenant leaves, just like not getting paid for months and just all these things that just like, oh, in the moment, it just sucks you in. Mm. But in the end, I'm stronger for it because I got through it and I build up like a little callus and the future, the next thing is a little bit easier to deal with because I'm like, I remind myself, eh, been there, done it, this will pass, just get through it, put one foot in front of the other. It's taken, it's taken a lot of time for that to, that mindset to kick in for me. Um, but you know, I'm there now and it's, it's a little bit easier. I suppose, I suppose, um, kind of like personal development, I don't know about you, but personal development for me is, is a continuous learning journey. Do you agree with that? Yes. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, hundred percent because we're all imperfect human beings. And so, you know, it's, uh, and life throws us curveballs sometimes. And so, and, it, and we talked about the personal growth gap before Adam, like, like if we get the version 2.0, especially me and you and everyone listening to this, that version 2.0 is probably going to become version 3.0 because we need something to strive for. You know, right. it's, that's what I think fuels a lot of us, you know? And so mm. um, that's the journey never ends, you know, and yeah. I, I'm fine with it because I, I like the journey. Love it. Love it. Love it. Cool. Um, is there any, um, <clears throat> excuse me, is there any, um, tell us a little bit about a little bit more about your podcast. I mean, we haven't really spoken about morning upgrade and that kind of stuff. I mean, you mentioned at the very beginning of, what your story was, but I'd love to know more about like, how does your morning upgrade podcast differ from say David Goggins podcast, for example, I'd love to know more about that. Yeah. So morning upgrade, it's, you know, it's my passion project. Um, you know, it's my attempt at uh, creating impact, raising the awareness of personal development, morning routines, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And so I've got different ways I do that. And the podcast is one of them. And so the episodes are weekly every Sunday, uh, short and sweet, 15 to 20 minutes. I'm usually talking to other business owners, 
just you know, uh, you know, entrepreneurs. And I like to pick. I like to find out what everyone does in the morning because all my guests have morning routines. They probably wouldn't come on if they didn't. Uh, so I like to find out like how do they how do people start their mornings? Everyone's different. Like uh, some people just go for walks with their dog. Some people ex- purely exercise. I have one guest who has a habit of making a green drink. She has a whole like system for making that green drink in the morning. <laughs> and so everyone's got, and you heard my morning routine. And so I like to ask them that. And then I like to ask questions that I'm curious about, like the meaning of life, what makes you happy? Like what fuels your happiness? What habits do you have? I love talking about challenges in business because, mm-hmm. you know, most people, including myself in certain situations, would shy away from challenges and how they get through it. So I just like to you know, ask questions that interest me and, and they're short and sweet episodes. And I, my belief is that every episodes, the people that listen to it, it's, you know, they're getting a one or two nuggets out of it and it makes them a slightly little bit better. And that's what, that's what fuels me to keep going now close to a hundred episodes. Damn. Very cool. Well, congratulations on that. Um, I was going to say to you, are are there any kind of last minute um, uh, uh, tips and advice for people that are, I suppose, trying to get trying to get into that morning routine is there any tips or strategies that you would uh, recommend yeah definitely um I, you know i, I kind of hinted at it before but really starting small um starting small that could, depends who you know it could be that could be 10 15 minutes but just start small and what would you do in those 10 15 minutes well you know gratitude you have to, you have to experiment and see what see what fills your cup but you know gratitude practice um uh, journaling, you know, uh, uh, exercise, meditation, all the, those, all the, that's like a recipe. There's all the different ingredients to pull from, but I would say start small and then start to scale up as you, as you, as the habit solidifies. Um, I guess that's, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, that, that, that'd be my answer. Start small and then just build from there. Like it. Very cool. Very good. Well, listen, it's been a, it's been great to have you on the show. Um, I I suppose my other question to you is what are you working on right now? I'd love to know what you're working on. What am I working on right now? I mean, yeah. So uh, the morning upgrade, obviously that's always a continuous uh, project. Uh, You know, my main responsibility at Ballantyne is growing the digital divisions. So Mm -hmm. there's always things to work on there. Uh, The roofing business is brand new for us. Uh, I'm doing a little bit of sales for the roofing business. I go to a weekly networking group where I try to generate leads for the roofing. My one brother and cousin are mostly running that business, um, but I'm doing my part in trying to, you know, trying to sell roofs. So I've got my hands. It's interesting because like with, with COVID being remote, um, we have a small little office here where I'm recording this from, but we also, the whole team is remote. It's, it's a really interesting dynamic because I've got these multiple businesses. I've got the family. I'm home more. I've got more time. I'm really like right now I'm like, hyper focused on trying to craft like the perfect life or the perfect daily routine not that it'll ever ever be perfect but for some reason i'm getting obsessed with that concept of like maybe because i'm 43 years old and Mm. i don't know statistically i guess my life is halfway over i don't know maybe not but (laughs) i want to like i want to really live a my life is fulfilling but i want to like keep on turning that dial and try to like how fulfilling can i make it not just for me but for everyone around me you know and so i'm very very uh very, very hyper-focused on that right now for some reason. Cool. I love that. Very good. Um, so guys, hope that, first of all, I just want to say, hope you've enjoyed today's show and I hope you've uh, you've been inspired to and spark some new ideas about how to enhance your morning routine. Um, just want to say thanks very much to you, Ryan. Really appreciate your time today and uh, and uh, it's, been, it's, been, it's been great. Yeah, Adam, I really uh, appreciate your time and it was fun talking about this. I'm hoping that you're listeners uh walked away with some good information absolutely and for you guys um that are listening in if you want to learn a little bit more about ryan as well feel free to click on his links below uh and if you do reach out to him and say hi just mention this podcast so they can put two and two together so uh from me and ryan hope you've enjoyed today's show and we'll see you back in again on the next game changers experience take care and see you soon Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for listening to today's episode on the Game Changers Experience. I would be gratefully appreciated if you could leave a good or a bad review, doesn't matter, one or a five star review, whichever you prefer, on any of the platforms, whether it be on Apple, whether it be on Spotify, Podchaser, etc. And please leave a testimonial or review about our podcast. And if you have enjoyed our podcast, 
then I look forward to seeing you on the next Game Changers Experience. Take care. See you soon. Rick Setra. And please leave a testimonial or review about our podcast. And if you have enjoyed our podcast, then I look forward to seeing you on the next Game Changers Experience. Take care. See you soon.